Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 196. NASDAQ off 261. S&P is off 60. I want to thank our producer, Al, as well as my son, Tommy. That was a nice uh, get-go. Hey, Tommy did the show 2 to 2.30. We brought that uh, to you live. And uh, bottom line is that, you know, it's they're almost paranoid to say that, okay, we're on the other side of the cycle. But we are on the other side of the cycle, folks. That's the bottom line. Uh, when you take a look at that, you know, PCE, you know, last six months, you're at 1.9 percent. Bottom line, wants to make sure it's down to 2 percent over the course of the year. And market-wise out here, if we take a look at it, the market was already down. Um, what did happen is that it took the second leg down when Powell said flat out that March is not going to be it. Okay, so you can, if you take a look at these S&Ps here. What you're going to see, that second leg down, when the S&Ps went from that uh, point of, uh, what, 49.01, it lost 26 uh, points like ASAP. That's when bottom line is that he says, well, no, not ready in March. You know, that being said, folks, okay, the bottom line is that um, the rates are high. They were late, number one, bringing them up. And they're probably going to be late bringing them down. That's what. It, that's how this seems to be shaking out. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see the rest of this shakes out. Uh, let's go. Uh, yesterday, what you did have was you had we had Microsoft come out with numbers. Numbers were good. Bottom line is that they sold it down. Um, you know, right now you got Microsoft down uh, seven and a half dollars. Thirty-four million shares traded. Uh, Google now. Google's going to get interesting, and and this is why. This is the end of the month, right? This last day of the month. And if we take a look at Google, what you're going to see is that you got a test of the highs. And it's going to be so close, like what we come in with here. Let's just see what we got. Well, they actually, it's not going to be close. 700, yeah. See, this is going to be a failure on price and volume on a monthly basis. Okay, so... The, la the first time that Google, you know, get up to its highs, it stays up there about five months. This time here, you get a spike high. You get over the highs. You get a close on under the highs on a monthly basis. Now, what that sets up, this is where this gets really wild, man. I mean, you don't have to go to the other end of the consolidation, you know. But if we do, that's 83. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right, 83. Okay. The bottom line is that it's going to start giving it up. It gave it, gave it up today. And then if we just took, let's just bring this closer, and we'll take what a 0 0.382 is of the whole move. So if we go just do the live, well, I think it's already over that already, actually. Yeah, it's right at it. Right now, it's right at it. We're going down to at least, what's this number here? 121. You're at 142 right now. 121 is game. Um, now, let's go to the E-mini intraday today to see how this is setting up. Because what we have intraday is that we have that, that's a high volume low right now. So if you're looking for the market to go higher, what we're going to, what I expect we're going to need first is that it tests that high volume low that's laying out here from specifically when uh, Powell said that, no, we're not going to be ready for March. You know, when you listen to the whole deal, it's just telling me, and he, he, he almost said it, they, they're almost, the decision that we're on the other side of the cycle goes like this. There was, there was a question that is that, okay, is this a one-off that you'll come down, or does this mean cycle-wise you're going to keep coming down? And Paolo went right back to the same deal, said, oh, we needed more information. We're on the other side of the cycle, folks. The real question is, is that how much more is Powell and his associates going to squeeze the market, keeping them here? Because my take is they are paranoid to come down at all. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. At Dow. Dow Industries right now trading uh, down 229. NASDAQ's off 276. S&Ps are off 65. Now, we get some divergence out here, so check it out. We go to the 10 here. And this is, you know, bottom line, which running markets out here. You take a look at the 10-year, and you're going to see this is a huge move in the 10-year. You're up 16 ticks. That's not the number, though, meaning you get 2.6 million contracts again, okay? So when you take a look at this, what we had done is this. Three months ago, in October, rather, you come off the, the, the high of the cycle peak was October. So you, you, the 10 year starts moving higher. The first move was a straight line move up. Now check this out because this is like pretty cool, man, the way this is sh shaking out. What we did, you had a straight line move up. You didn't even do a 0 0.382 retracement on the way down. What we did do is that we went against strength and we did that with tremendously lighter volume. Now we, we did that excluding the last uh, three days, just because we started going up. It, we did that all last week. So that's a positive. That's a market that wants higher price. Now what we have out here today, you have the confirmation it wants higher price. But not only that, what you've also done is you broke the downtrend. It was only a small downtrend. But this is saying that you possibly could have a monster ABC structure on the way up. And if this is what we have... 105, 
Yeah, you got eight. That's going to get us into 118. Okay, so let me do this. T, I'm going to go into the generic one. 118. Oh, I know how we do this. This is, this is cool. Okay. 118. I'm going to do it this way first, but then I'm going to do the reverse on the yields. 118. Okay, so 118. That's one. Ooh, that's a big one, man. So 118 would be... 122 is a... Oh, look at that. Oh, my God, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome when we do this. So 118, folks, actually is the 0 0.382 of the whole move from the cycle when the Fed sat going up to the bottom in October. That's the 118. So, okay, now let's go do it this way. We're going to 10-year. Okay, one second. Hold it. 118, because now what I want to know... What is the date on that, man? Okay, June. So 10 year. Okay, so we're gonna bring this up. Okay, cool. We're at 3.99 right now. And I see, I gotta bring this back further, one second. Okay, cool, okay, so, 3.99, it's October. Yeah, right there, okay. So that's three point, yeah, 3.24 is where we're going. We, got, we went through this before, last time too. But that's what it looks like. And what's going to get intriguing here is we'll see. Let's go to the TLT, too. So this will be moving the same way. Yeah, you can see you got an expansion of volume in the TLT out here today. The TLT also did a 0 0.382 retracement. So that can be an ABC structure up also. It's all, it's all of the above. This is going to be a patience deal. But the cycle, we're on the other side of the cycle. So the real question is going to be, you know, they, they can squeeze it. You know, there was an article yesterday, um, great article, man. And very, a very small article, okay? But if you Google uh, Barry Sternlich, and, you know, he's, he's a huge player in the hotel business, the real estate business in general. He was saying that the, the amount of losses inside of the commercial office building market in the United States is $1.2 trillion out of $3 trillion, okay? He's, he's figuring, and this guy, I'm t he knows what he's talking about, folks. I've watched this guy since 1974. Um, he's built an empire, and he's always really a straight shooter. Because, I mean, he's getting hurt himself because they have office buildings. But, you know, the bottom line, what he was saying, and this is the, this is the big part, is that he was, so that's not a recession. That's a depression in a monster way in the office building space, right? And the biggest part that he was saying about this is that he was saying that we don't know where the losses are, meaning that these companies are still basically hiding huge amounts of losses on a mock-to-mock -mock basis for commercial spaces. Now, watch this. If we go to New York Community Bank, okay, <laughs> well, this is a regional lender, okay, and unfortunately, what they actually did, and this is where you think you're getting a good deal, and the your values that you actually placed on something were not correct. So when Signature Bank went down, what ended up happening is that New York Community Bank 
took over so many loans. Well, there's a couple loans that they took over that are a total disaster, and they're a monster amount of money. So if we take a look at, and this is going to be on, on a regional basis. This is where, this is where you know, as everyone's hunting, they say, okay, where are these losses? How are they masking them? Okay. So if you take a look at the community bank, you're going to see that you're breaking all-time lows. That, let me see, I'll put it back 50 years. Let me see what happens here. Yeah. Uh, so this traded here, what year is this? 1998. 1998, okay? And what this is about is that for a small bank, they turned around, I think they had to put a, yeah. For the bank's provision for loan losses surged to 552 million. Uh, you're gonna see more of this, folks, okay? You know, the, the regionals themselves, I, I went to OZK immediately. I mean, I, I, we bank with OZK, but they're a huge development bank. Um, now, it's not in their stock, I can tell you that. I mean, they, they went down three bucks today, you know, in the context of um, New York Community Bank. That being said, though, this, this chart still looks pretty good, man. So, what you do have is that just like regional banks, this is on a regional basis, which is pretty intense. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 292, NASDAQ off 319, S&P's off 74. We're coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 297. The Nasdaq's off 321. S&Ps are off 75. So let's get over to the E-mini because we're going to go in for this test right now. And you actually got 30 minutes left. So this is kind of a nice time for it to test this level. Okay, so we just did 342. So time's going quicker than I think. The bottom line is that you just tested. You didn't reject it, though. You tested it with a lot lighter volume. So now it's going to mess around down here. I suspect that you're probably going to close at these lows because 15 minutes is just not long enough. Um, yeah, we'll see how this shakes out. If we go over to Tesla, this is, a, this is going to be a whole brave new deal out here. The, so this is going to be so intriguing to find out, like, how is this going to shake out with Elon Musk, meaning his pay package. Uh, there is an appeal process uh, inside of the, you know, uh, the Delaware Chancery Court said the, his pay package is voided because of basically self-interest inside of the board. Uh, it was a 200-page decision. Um, <laughs> uh, so check this out, man. I mean, some of these public companies, man, they can throw around so much. So he, the, what the judge said that, uh, let's see, and the judge's 200-page decision. She focused on six board members she called the decision makers, five of whom she said were conflicted by their personal or business ties to Musk. Two were close friends who often vacationed and socialized with Musk, while three others were beholden to him in other ways, the judge said. One of the directors, listen to this, folks. This is like, oh, my God. One of the directors made... $280 million exercising options she was paid by Tesla. <laughs> Neither the compensation committee nor the board acted in the best interest of the company when negotiating must compensation plan, the judge said. In fact, there is barely any evidence of negotiations at all. Rather than negotiate against Musk with the mindset of a third party, the compensation committee worked alongside him almost as an advisory body. Musk, his brother, Kibble, and venture capitalist Steve, Steve J. Vanson were also on the nine-member board but didn't participate in the 2018 votes on the pay package. This is, uh, imagine... <laughs> He just hey, listen, we, we don't know where it's going. With Musk, there's always uh, something happening, that's for sure. But uh, you're talking about it took five years to get to this point. And I suspect that that's what he's already setting up, you know, wants something more. Uh, hey, well, we'll see where it goes, man, you know. And when you take a look at the thing that's amazing to me is that when you take a look at Tesla itself, you know, when he sold, when Musk sold the shares, right, and he was making, like, oh, yeah, I just got to sell some shares up here at $400, you know. I mean, we're at $187 right now. And he was selling out there, you know, 405 410 and he had plenty of time. Let's trade it up at that level for five months, folks, five months. And isn't it amazing that what paper can actually do, right? Think about that. 410 to 187 right? And then multiply that times millions of shares. In fact, let me go pull, I'm going to pull this up right now just to see where we're at with him. Okay, so, well, he probably has it under different companies, right? I see what's going on. Okay, one second. Let's do it this way. And we're going to management. We're going to Musk. Let's see what he has here. Well, I got the wrong one. Okay, so let me see. What I'm looking for is exactly how many he owns right now. Yeah. The bottom line is that the story is going to keep unfolding. You know, there's going to be appeals. Um, it, it seems that the, 
what has happened <laughs> in general in the equity market is that we have gone from, you know, a straight out buy, sell, what is an equity worth, what is it not worth, to an aspect that there is so many of these that are going to court now, not just on the pay packages, uh, but in general, um, you know, which stretches things out in, in a dramatic way. What, what blows my mind is that, you know, just like that, that pay package, uh, I mean, think about this for a second. You're, you're a, a director of a public company and you think that you get a pay package of $260 million, the differential is insane. I mean, you know, as a director, the direct, what, you meet once a month, you say you meet 12, 12 times a year, it's not bad, right? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. So let's go take a look at that E-mini again. Well, actually, no, let's go to the NQs. So if we take a look at the NQs and see how they tested out these bottoms. Yeah, here you go again, man. Yep. So the NQ didn't get to the low. Now, this is... That's saying that, guess what? <laughs> this NQ is not over yet, man. You know, we, 17,242 is the number, and we went to 245. And if that's all this can do, that's still a market that's saying, guess what, I'm not done on the way up. So this would be pretty amazing. Let me put the three Qs up here for a second. Okay, so you can see what's happening. You're coming down, but yet you're coming down into the strength. So you're coming down into 70 million and the Qs and you only get 54. That's still not that's still not a sell-off. Well, it's a sell-off on price, okay? But that's nothing heavy, man. That's that's just nothing heavy. You know, if you're gonna do some real destruction, what this number should be here right now way over, I mean, it's pretty easy to do 70, 80 million in the queues. And right now you're only at 55. We take a look at this and break it down. It's gonna, the queues are gonna try to test right now, probably. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So the test there would be 417.06 and If you get a rejection there, yeah, you might go sideways or something. But that's also showing that for today, that's about it with the selling. And if we go take a look at, let's go see what this tick has come in with. So, oh, look at this. Oh, this would be interesting if this is uh, intraday. So we get a tick of minus 15. And it was intraday. Yeah, it was right when Powell said the March sale. That's a big tick, man. That's that's a big tick. That means that you know we're forming a bottom once again. Stay right there, folks. We we'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 284, Nasdaq off 329, S&P's off 76. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 301. NASDAQ's off 350. S&P's are down 80. So let's go to the SPY because you get a different setup here in the SPY. The SPY is coming off the highs with volume expanding. So we take a look at this. What you're going to see, you have 89 million shares right now. Now, you're coming into 110, but it's good. This will do 110, man. Um, so that's saying that the SPY, the S&Ps, more than likely are going to go back to where we broke topside about two weeks ago. Because that's, that's the bar that we're dealing with right now. The, we're at 483.53, 482, we haven't hit it yet, 482.12. But when you get an expansion of volume like this, that's telling me, hey, guess what? You're, you're coming back to this level. We'll see, you know, if that level is going to hold. Now, what we... We go back to the Qs for a sec, because see, because the Qs led. The thing that's so intriguing here about the Qs, let's just see if it hit the lows first. Okay, so you finally hit the low when you rejected it. So we just went down into it. We just hit 416.79, and you're already a buck above it. We are at 417.52. And you're going to have. That's five minutes into the bar. It, it. Okay, so now let me just do this. Now let's go to the larger picture. So now we're at 57. This is going to come down here too. Yeah, this is going to come into the 417, 4. Well, 414's game, that's the low. The high of that is 421. Oh, yeah, we're for sure. See, we're already into this bar. So, cancel that one. We're already into that bar. So, this is going to come back, same deal, going to come back to the breakout about uh, a week and a half ago. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out, the bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, habits, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. 
it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market.